Hey sweeties, I've got a good one for you today. We have Korean style beef bulgogi bowls. I used one pound of ground beef, some peppers, onions, and it was done in less than 30 minutes and that includes cooking the rice. I cooked it in the Ninja Foodi, pretty much set it and forget it. And now it's time to eat. So please subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Now let's get into it. Let's start off with our rice. I'm cooking our rice in the Ninja Foodi, pressure cooking it. Three cups of rice, three and a third cups of water, some salt, put the pressure cook lid on, let it cook for three minutes on high pressure and naturally release for 10 minutes and the rice is done and I don't have to even pay any attention to it. I love cooking rice this way. And now let's move on to our beef. Let's heat up our pan on the stove and I'm using an enamel coated cast iron pan. We'll let that get hot and then we'll move on to chopping up our peppers, our sweet red bell pepper and our onion, a Vidalia onion. Let's start with our pepper first. I just cut off the top and the bottom and then slice down through the sides. And that leaves the core in one piece and I can just discard the core and slice up the rest of the pepper. And we're just gonna slice it, it doesn't have to be too thin. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Let's move on to the onion and similar, we're just gonna take off the top and the bottom since we're slicing it. Take off the top part of the onion, the root end of the onion, and then cut it in half and peel off the papery skin. And sometimes you have to peel off some of that like first layer. Get rid of that. And then we'll just slice this one up too. Please remember when you're chopping, use a nice sharp knife and keep your fingers tucked underneath so you don't cut yourself. Our pan is nice and hot. Oh, somebody's excited about dinner. <laughs> Let's get that beef a browning, and I'm gonna use my uh, twist and chop. I got this from a Pamper Chef party, but it's available online on um, Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description box. And that just helps us to break up the beef and get it into smaller pieces. Our ground beef is starting to get a little color. We'll add in our onions and our peppers and saute that around and I didn't add any additional uh, fats or oils to the pan before I started browning the beef. Um, this is 80-20 ground beef, ground chuck, so it has uh, you know quite a bit of fat, 20% fat already in the meat so it renders out some of the meat and juices and we'll cook the uh, peppers and onions in that meat and juices. And if there's a lot of extra fat, you can drain it, but I didn't find it necessary. So we'll season our meat mixture with a little salt and pepper and stir that around so that our peppers and onions will soften in um, the meat mixture. Now, while those peppers and onions are cooking with that beef, we're gonna get a couple of garlic cloves in there, two garlic cloves, and we'll just smash those to get the papery skin off and take off, there's like a little bit of a hard root end on there, so we'll take that off and just chop up our garlic clove pretty fine before we add it in to the um, beef with the peppers and onions. I always like to add the garlic in later because it can tend to burn pretty quickly. So I usually will wait uh, uh, until closer to the end of uh, a dish to add the fresh garlic. Everything is looking good. Our beef, peppers, and onions. We'll add in that chopped garlic and stir that around. We'll sprinkle in a little 
powdered ginger and you can grate some fresh ginger in there if you like if you've got it but I've got powdered ginger today so I'm gonna sprinkle a little powdered ginger in there and stir it around and then we'll we'll start to make our sauce we're gonna start our sauce with some brown sugar and this is not an authentic recipe at all this is just what I have in my pantry you can use um, honey if you want for a sweetener all of the um, amounts will be in the description box so you can check the description box for the recipe cornstarch will be our thickener and then granulated garlic or some garlic powder for some little extra flavor we'll add some fresh cracked ground pepper in there as well now we'll mix all of that up together and I find that mixing the cornstarch in with the dry ingredients helps for you to get less lumps now we'll stir in our soy sauce and I'm using low sodium soy sauce but regular um, full sodium soy sauce is just fine depending on your liking. Stir that around, add a little bit of water to it, stir it up and then we can add this sauce to our beef and peppers mixture. Now if you want things a little hotter, a little spicier, you can add some red chili flakes into this mixture to bring the heat. We'll let this simmer down for a minute and start getting our toppings together. I'm going to use a couple of fried eggs as toppings. I messed that one up. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Some fried eggs to top our beef bulgogi bowl. We're going to do a chopped fresh sliced fresh cucumber and this is already washed I'm not taking the skin off or the seeds out this is one of those hothouse cucumbers the really long ones that come in plastic and I find the seeds are fine to just eat if you use those you know shorter fatter cucumbers you might want to cut them in half and then scrape the seeds out we'll wash some bean sprouts and then pat them dry and I love that plump crispy juiciness of bean sprouts I bought some kimchi. It says it's spicy, but it was not spicy. So that was a little disappointing. Let's start off with a bowl of rice as our base. Then we'll add some of the beef, peppers, and onions to our bowl. Top it right on top of that rice. It's so good. And this is a great way to stretch one pound of beef. I mean, this was more than enough for four people. Everybody got a nice healthy helping and there was some left over. Everybody can build their own beef bulgogi bowls. I like cucumber on top of mine, the kimchi, the bean sprouts. You can make a quick slaw. I usually just grab a bag of the pre-shredded coleslaw mix and toss it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of honey or sugar, toss that around. That's a great topping. Um, that fried egg is a must have for me. What you think about that? Dinner is done pretty quick, very tasty. Dinner's ready. And here. Woohoo! All right. We're about to get into these delicious Korean style beef bulgogi bowls. Dinner on the table, quick, fast, easy, and delicious. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant for more recipes just like this one. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and subscribe to Sweet Savant. I'll put more recipes right over here and you can subscribe right over there and have a delicious day.